Hi there and welcome to Andy Robinson RC and cheers for checking out the channel today and joining us on this episode. Okay, so what have we got for you today? Well, we have got the finished uh, Blockhead Motors uh, Tribute Grasshopper. Now, if you didn't catch the original video I did uh, where this featured in it, I'll put a link to that in the description. But basically, going back about a month or so now, um, I had a Hirobo Invader on the channel and also this newly acquired uh, grasshopper that I bought from Darren over at uh, Instagram at uh, RC Cars just for fun so I'll put a link to Darren's Instagram in the uh, video and he sold me this fantastic looking grasshopper and it was a bargain I can't believe anyone didn't snap it up already anyway I looked at that and thought well, that'll be a brilliant base for what I want to do so uh, it arrived and uh, it came with a lovely painted body far better than I could do uh, but I didn't want to use that because the idea was to do this Blockhead Motors Tribute and it even started before I bought the car back at the beginning of April on April the 1st I didn't even twig I just saw this uh, Blockhead uh, Grasshopper that um, Snapshot RC Cars had posted up and he said oh look out for a, a, basically a Blockhead Edition Hopper didn't think anything of it think, oh I want one of them <laughs> anyway and then I realised it was an April Fool's but I said it wasn't entirely, the un entirely unfeasible that Tammy wouldn't bring this out as an actual model so I thought well sod it I'll just make my own um, based on the, uh, the Blockhead Motors and Young Watanabe's designs uh, and the end product is this basically so what we did is I took Darren's base car uh, which was the uh, white chassis uh, car as you can see there that Darren had painted up um, and I stripped it of its body shell which I've still got and Darren had put the uh, fast attack vehicle style front suspension struts on and oil shocks all around so I left that on there it also put on this uh, Mirage RC front bumper again I was going to get a blockhead style one but I thought well it's done leave it at that um, I didn't actually like the wheels that came with it they were just like normal 2.2 inch buggy wheels so I've kept them for spares and, um, what else did it have on? We've also got this uh, aluminium suspension mount at the back that Darren had put on, so we left that as well. Uh, and what I've done is basically, most of the work's gone into the actual body shell, but uh, we put on there, if you can see it, we've got the little blue uh, alloy wheel clamps for a bit of bling, I thought we'd put them on. And uh, also I've put on, you can just see it, tucked under there, we've got a, a UK Monsters alloy uh, motor heat sink there. So we put that on as well and uh, it's running a Tamiya torque chain motor and it's got a steel pinion on it I don't know if it's an 18 tooth but um, I'm pretty sure it is but it's got a steel 18 tooth pinion now the rest of it is then mainly gone into the, the bodywork so I stuck the um, stole the headlights off uh, Darren's body shell and the driver figure so I thought I'd use them and I bought a brand new white body shell which we then primed in like a light grey primer, these are Tamiya TS paints that I used and then we got the pure white um, sort of TS paint, did the whole body in that and then I very nicely asked my wife if she'd mask up uh, the shell for me because I would make a complete cock up of doing that um, so big uh, plumbing bin lorry every time they go somewhere there's always a massive noise um, so anyway so I asked my wife would you please mask up this for us and I think you'll agree she did an excellent job. I was going to say it's far better than I could have done it. And also, um, my wife even did out the cut out of the uh, the body for the uh, sort of suspension mounts had clear, and obviously the uh, the rear oil shocks because they're bigger. So we dremeled them out and sanded them. So again, we've done that to it. And then I uh, ordered a set of blockhead uh, decals for a grasshopper, which we got and what else we did and also left over from my uh, Tamiya Hotshot 2 build that we did um, was the uh, was the um, the netting for the windows so I used what's, uh, what was left of that and also I didn't use them on the blockhead uh, Hotshot we had the, the number cards that were meant for that and I thought rather than trying to get the ones that uh, blockhead uh, motors use I thought I'd just use these so we put two on the rear either side and one on the front there with the number two on now I would have liked my own number which is 52 on there that I use for my racing cars but we went with what we've got 
because um, you know it'll just spiral out of control as you just keep on spending on it. Um, so that's what we did to get that sort of look to it. And also, if you notice there, I wanted to put on the uh, the little the little aerial uh, the little like, fake aerial wire with the little flag on. Now to buy all those bits for it, that would have cost stupidly. It'll cost thirty pound for the decals, <laughs> and it would have cost twenty pound for the wire. No joke, and all a new set of meshes and like the the, the number card things. And, and I thought, yeah, I'm not paying that. So all I've done is I have borrowed this off my Wild Worn Blockhead Edition, and I've just mounted it on the back. So at some point it'll go back on that, but I just didn't want to spend that sort of money on it. Um, even though I think it looks rather cool for having it on. And then the last sort of thing we did, really, was we've got a, a wanted alloy wheels for it. Um, but they're just too much money. They either have to import them, or the ones that I could find, that, you know, that people had done up for sand scorches and stuff. It's too much money. So what I found was, is a vintage set of uh, rough, rough Rider wheels. And they came with these tyres on as well, the Sand Blaster tyres. Uh, and I thought, perfect, that'll give it just a bit more of a different look. Uh, so we went with that. So as you can see it, there you go, that is my take on a uh, Tamiya Blockhead Edition Grasshopper. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I hope uh, you like it. I know the Blockhead stuff isn't everyone's taste. I personally do like it. And uh, I thought we'd do it in the red rather than the blue, which the other two cars have been done in that they've released. Anyway, um, let's see how it goes. Now, I did have to soften the uh, suspension on the bit on the back of this it was too hard and um, I've dropped the oil weight down I still think it's a little too hard but it is better um, and I also old um, tied up the uh, track end rods there for the steering I moved them in as much as possible so the wheels lay straight instead of towing in um, but other than that that's it really I just put a servo in and um, some electrics anyway let's see this going because uh, that's what it's for so uh, yeah, let's give it a go. As I say, let me know what you think to it in the comments. I hope you like it because, to be honest, it's one of the body shells I've actually spent quite a lot of time on. <laughs> With my uh, Lexan ones, I just usually uh, paint it up, shove it on the car, and use it for racing. <laughs> but anyway, um, I hope you like it. Let's see how this goes. Anyway. Now I did notice the uh, steel pinion. Oh, I've got it stuck straight away. What a what a what a cock womble. I mean they hop around quite a lot anyway but with the uh, suspension being a bit too firm on the back it doesn't really help either so I wanted to run this somewhere nice and soft because I really didn't want to chip the paint <laughs> but it, it's good fun and we've got really nice weather for it today as well I was going to say, you can hear a slight funny noise from the gearbox, that's the, the steel pinion that's in it, and it's not a Tamiya one, and it's probably not exactly the right pitch, but it's not going to harm it. pleased personally with the overall result but I've still as I said still need to go in there shift that uh, what do you call it soften that rear end up on it
there you go. That is uh, my uh, Tamiya Blockhead Motors sort of custom tribute that I built. And uh, who knows, we might yet see Tamiya release um, a Blockhead Motors one in the future. We'll have to see. Will I get one? Probably. <laughs> I do really like my uh, hoppers and, and I've uh, thoroughly liked uh, building this one up and uh, doing it. I hope you like it Darren as well because you sold me your original car. Um, but yeah, let us know what you think in the comments. I'm not sure what else I'm going to do with this yet. We'll see. But for now, it's done and dusted. Um, yeah. So there you go. That's it. I hope you enjoyed seeing the uh, the finished model and uh, see it driving around. And yeah, uh, I really like doing it. Right. Okay. So cheers for checking this one out. Much appreciated as always still got lots more on the channel coming we've got a brand new uh, version 2 of the FTX Mola to review that's coming very soon and we've also obviously got the Kayasho Optima Coswork Edition as well to come amongst other things as well right okay as I said we'll see you all soon look after yourselves if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the channel it really helps as they were really close now to our 300 300 our 3000 uh, subscriber mark and also as well you can come check us out on facebook and instagram under andy robinson R under um, no i can't say that under andy robinson rc right love you and leave you see you later and take care of yourselves bye